Kenan Demir says, what does it mean? Boris Johnson has warned the effects of a third wave of coronavirus will wash up on our shores. What does this mean? So a shore is, as you might know, the line between the land and the sea. But it's not just any, it's not just the ocean. It could be any large body of water. It's not any ocean. It's any any kind of big body of water. It could be a lake. It could be the English Channel, which is what separates England from the rest of Europe. Well, what does that mean? How can how can the effects of a third wave of coronavirus wash up? <laughs> what is that? The viruses floating up on the shore? That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Well, this is an expression, okay? It's just an expression. It means arrive here, come here for the first time. Usually for the first time. We're talking about the effects specifically of the third wave. Why don't we just talk about this whole thing here? Boris Johnson, Prime Minister of the UK. All right. He's got crazy hair. He's got very messy hair. And uh, he's uh, he's a funny guy. He actually got COVID and, and got really sick, but then he, he survived. So that's good. The effects of something, the results, not just the thing itself, not just the wave of coronavirus itself, but the effects of it. So what would that be? Well, new cases would be one. Uh, sh stores closing down, maybe lockdowns, all of the things that you know about that are related to COVID-19. Okay. What about, what about wash up on our shores? How can the effects of something wash up on shores? Let's get into that a little bit more. And why is it the third wave? Well, apparently there was a first wave and a second wave. I'm not really sure what the exact difference is between the first and the second and why this is being the third. I don't know how this is counted. But anyway, this is whatever it is washing up on our shores. Could you say this if it's a country that is landlocked? Could you say this if it's a country that has no sea around it? Probably not. So if you if you have a country that's not by if you have a country that's not by the ocean, uh, it would be difficult to say that something is washing up on your shores. You'd probably just say, arrive in the country, arrive in our country. That's probably what you would say. But if it's the United States, which has two oceans on either side, if it's China, which has all of the a, a long coastline, if it's England, which has the British Channel and then the Pacific Ocean on the other side, all of these, because they're surrounded by water, we can say wash up on our shores. And that would be a very common expression simply to, to mean arrive here, but not because we asked it to come here. That's the kind of feeling you get from it. It's not the feeling of, oh, please come over here. We bring it over here. We want it over here. But instead, it arrives as though it had floated over across the, the English Channel or across the Pacific Ocean and arrived here. And now it is here. So it has washed up on our shores. So that's how it's used. You'll hear it used pretty often. It's often used for unwanted things, things that we don't necessarily want. Nobody wants the effects of a third wave of coronavirus, but that is how it is typically used. Okay. Good question. If you guys haven't already done so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, of course, and check out my full courses in the links in the description.